This is how I make a low tunnel from floating row cover, hoops, and weight bags. So I'm pushing the wire hoops on the edge of the bed and see how I'm bending that hoop in? That's making the foot of the hoop straighter as it's going into the ground. It just makes it easier to push it in. So I'm gonna place three weight bags at each end. This is about a 20 foot bed. So there's three hoops about 10 feet apart. And so there's a bag for the middle and one for each side. And then I will put a bag on each side of that middle hoop. Every hoop, even on my 120 foot beds, every hoop has a weight added. That's the secret to having row cover stay down in pretty much all weather. So now I'm gonna pull the floating row cover up onto the hoops and you kind of want to be sure that it's um, centered on the hoop so you have the same amount of fabric on each side. Put the heavy weight in the middle and then pull it out flatly and put a weight on it. And then I am going to come down to this end. You always secure the ends first, then do the middle hoops. So, and a tip on a really windy day, especially if you have long beds, the lower you keep the row cover to the ground when you're handling it, the less wind problem you'll have. So now see, I'm centering it on the hoops, pulling it tautly, but not super tight, but you want it to be taut and place a bag, and each bag weighs about 15 pounds. They're filled with garden soil, and that's the secret to making these row covers stay down too, are heavy weights that don't rip your row cover. So there's that end, and now I'm gonna put a weight on either side of the center hoop, and um, air, water, and light go through the row cover. So you can pretty much put this on and leave it in most situations. There you go, low tunnel.